This is for fellow CX3ers. Just had my evaporator replaced at the dealership because it was leaking. That was a job where they basically had to dismantle the entire dash, steering wheel, everything came off. Guy said it took him 30 hours. Not sure about that. But uh, anyway, the um, got in the car a week later and I had a wet passenger floor. So did a little research and um, basically figured out that he might have not connected a hose, hopefully. So anyway, um, I did get into the dash. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the dash basically comes off by pulling it down and pushing in the sides. And then it just basically falls. And you can lift the little hooks off and set it out of your way. Now there's also, let me flip this around. That's inside. Um, I didn't find what I was looking for, except for I did find the cabin air filter, which I went ahead and checked because that's something you probably need to change out every once in a while. Actually, mine is pretty dirty, so I probably will order one of those. That's pretty easy. Pretty standard location in the behind the glove box. Um, so I didn't have what I needed, and so I had to take this piece off as well. Um, it has clips on this side. And then it has a little tab that basically fits in a hole, kind of up in there, if you can see right there, it goes right in there. So when you're taking it off, you want to just pop off the left side and then pull it out of that tab. I did not do it correctly, but I didn't break it, so that's good. Um, I pulled on the wrong side. I was kind of desperate to get it off. So this is what you find behind there. And what I found, thankfully, it was that simple. There's a hose right here. And it was basically disconnected up at the top here. It, was, it pulls right off at the top. I can't get it now, but it actually comes off. There it is right there. And I'm pretty sure that little hole right there is where the water was coming from. So I just stuck that sucker back on. I was going to put a clamp, but I decided it's actually on there pretty good. I think it was just not put back when they did the repair. And if you look down under the carpet, just so you can see... Um, that's where it should go out your car and when you turn your air conditioner on I'm assuming it should just drip out of the bottom of your car from there instead now I have a wheel well full of water uh, anyway I um, just thought I'd uh, thought I'd show you guys that because there aren't any videos on an, online 